Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Riggio Manus? Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See? There's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, it... Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was George. Everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation. Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. Hi, driver. I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. Let's go pick him up. Over there. Yay! Alas, all good things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school. Let's take the bike truck to school. to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? <sighs> it's worth
worse than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Home run! All right, kids, see, that's how you do it. Now get out there and give me 10 laps. Come on, move, move, move! Uh, I'm picking up my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, she's allergic to flowers. Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Hi. Uh Let's let's go, driver. So, uh, you like movies? Yeah. Movies are okay. Do you like movies? Yeah. I love movies. What about you? Uh Thanks. So, do I pay you now, or later, or do I- Oh! Thanks, Giorgio! Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the driving theater? Damn it, Steve! Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! You are just the bee's knees. Thank you so much. Hey, so... I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? Bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him, post haste. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. She could definitely do a lot better. I think I see him. We'll pass him and I'll drag him in. We got...
Well, thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well, I had a good run, I reckon. What's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? What is this keep happening? Did he? No, 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 Where did you come up with such a novel idea? Aha! Oh, but how do you change direction? all the information I needed, my foolish friend. A revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. So long. Hello there, my chatty chauffeur. I have a task that needs attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things, 
Everyone here in Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. by my fantastic tower and say hello. <laughs> simple. How about we go to the mall? It's just down the road. I heard it's the second biggest mall in Round It even has a food court. Come on, Giorgio. Let's get out of this park. this place. Ducks, trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're... you're real special. Call me soon, okay? Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right time. 
Shh. Look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. Nobody's seen it in 50 years. Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. Follow that eagle. God, look at that majesty. What a noble creature. Whoa. Oh no. What are they doing here? It's the Roundabout Endangered Bird Hunting Committee. We've got to stop them. I'm so sorry. This is the only way to protect our environment. Okay, I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. Thank you, Giorgio. The Parks Department and Nature thanks you. Hello there, driver. Please to take me to the soccer, Chris. Yes, yes, you've got it. Let us going, Georgie. Soccer Chris? It took you too long, car you still could drive it. Thanks to you, Georgie! Hey! I'm glad you could pick me up. Could you give me a ride to the bus depot? Oh, Giorgio. I know. It's hard for me to go home too, but we can have this one last ride together, at least for now. 
Let's go, Giorgio. Remember that time we were at the park? And that duck? <laughs> Good times, Giorgio. You should come visit for a weekend. I hear they even have a new revolving guy just like you. Well, he's French Canadian, but hey, you can't have everything, right? Yeah, just here at the depot. You know, you could come with me and move to the city. I mean, I'm sure you'd do swell in the big city and I'd, well, it's kind of selfish, but I'd really just like to have you all to myself, all the time. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? Fantastic! Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. You're gonna love the city, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets. I'm telling you, it's easy street. Oh yeah, the highway construction. Kid, it's time to break some rules. Ready to take your driving to another level? Nice work. Now, this last step is all up to you. Just drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. I knew you'd come around, kid. Look, I've got the perfect plan. Just take me to Chinatown and I'll take care of the rest. Just, just follow the arrow, Giorgio. Man, this kid sometimes. up here in the alley, kid.
nice one. You and me, kid, we're gonna go far. Stick with me, and this city will be yours inside of a week. Leo, just the man I need. I got a job that only your hands can do. Hi, quick, quick, let's get going. I've gotta get to City Hall. It's a matter of life and death. Go. Well, technically not death, but, and now that you mention it, not really life. But City Hall, that's 100% right. Let's do this. Thanks so much. We did good today. We did a real good thing. Hello again, my revolving fellow. I'm late for my inspection of the Maximilian Tower's construction site. Chop chop. Yes, this is coming along splendidly. Can't even see what that blasted mayor disliked. To the alley, Jeeves. Mr. Mayor, thank you for your discretion. This whole construction fatalities matter. I'm sure this fine suitcase will set things straight. Onwards, Jeeves. It's time for a well-earned vacation on my yacht. <laughs> Ugh. West Roundabout is so gaudy. I barely can stand passing through. Thank you kindly, Jeeves. I'll just wait here for my yacht. Kelly ho hip-hip, cha-ta, and all that. Hey, you! Oh, I'm so happy you made it out to the city. As am I, Giorgio. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Ugh, is this that Ronaldo guy that you were telling me about? Wait, how does he even hear what I'm saying? None of that's important right now, young mademoiselle. What is important is that your revolving amour is trespassing on Ronaldo country. Hey, Giorgio invented revolving. You think stealing it is gonna achieve anything? You'll never be as good as Giorgio. Ho ho! I'm already the best, and I'll prove it. Just try and beat me to upper roundabout. This shall be uproarious. You've got this, baby. Teach this Eiffel turkey a lesson. Yeah, yeah, you just keep going. I'll, I'll go. While the pedestrian right-of-way laws may be lax a roundabout, destroying someone's car is tantamount to treason. Ronaldo, over and out. It's okay. 
We made it here alive. Just, just hang in there, okay? Don't, don't do anything rash. We got this, okay? Look at me. We got this. Hey mate, thanks for the ride. I got a Bonza soccer game going up north. Yeah, mate. Up north? Take me for a ride up to the park? Cheers, mate. I was gonna chuck a sickie, but you know, I figure whatever. May as well play around. Yeah, just uh, chuck the ball in one of those goals over there. Cheers, mate. Sweet as. Okay, mate, get me back to my place up the hill. I've got an S full of BB with my name on it. Mate, you are a dead set legend. Cheers. driving up here. Yeah, I thought so. He's been calling me all day trying to figure out where you are. Come on, let's head back down to the city and find out what's up. I'll come with you. There's a back way you can take through the hills. I'll show you where to go. Okay, kid, my buddy Leo has just the thing to give you the edge on this Ronaldo creep. Look, kid, trust me on this. It's in a container at the docks. I promised you you'd go far with me, and with this, nothing can stop you. It's primo stuff, real chauffeur material. Over there, kid, crash through those gates. this crate anywhere. 
try the other side of the docks. Good. Leo better be right about this. Okay, kid, get us out of here. I got work to do. <laughs> Okay, buddy, give me a few to figure out what to do with this magic dust. Once we get it in the system, you'll be unstoppable. It's funny, you? Hey, Cheese Weasel, I've got to get down at the memorial. The memorial? It's so happening they haven't even built it yet. Go south. Just take the boats to the back end. My girl China's meeting me there. China is supposed to meet me here. Let's try the statue. Oh, I'm out of here. She's not here. I can't believe that China don't care about this whistle van. This is bogus. Take me back to the mainland, homie. day but you can clearly dig it you're my new wingman Giorgio and Disco Sylvan are gonna go far dude the mechanic guy sent me uh, Mike Michael Mickey yeah he wants to meet you at the top of the parking garage yeah, dude. Sweet. Parking garage. Mick said something about meeting him at the top. Dude, have you ever wondered what life would be like counterclockwise? Whoa, right?
Yeah, you check out. Definitely not a narc. All right, man, I got your pills. Take two of these, and you'll feel like a psychedelic unicorn blasting off into space, but wearing a limo suit. <laughs> yeah, think about that, man. Enjoy. Hello, Giorgio. I'm your pal, Jeffrey. Make no bones about it, I'm excited to see you. I'm already running behind in the roundabout triathlon. Quick, get me to the front of the pack. Just because I have no lungs doesn't mean I'm waterproof. Go get a water upgrade. I sure am glad you're driving me. I don't have the bones for swimming. What? I can't make the same joke twice? I'm proud. Oh my. My jangly legs are still so many places behind. Time to murder all runners. <laughs> Excuse me, but please do run everyone over. Giorgio, the joy of competing is the real reward. Take me to the finish! Yes, 
Giorgio. You did it. You're the best. Giorgio is number one. USA. USA. Wait, where, where am I going? Oh boy. Wow, kid. That stunt you pulled at the triathlon is all over the news. I've got one last thing for you before you take him on again. We can't beat him on the road, but I have something better than roads. Head to the plaza. Now, climb up that art thing. Statue? Whatever. Finally, modern art has a use. Here's the trick. Boost and jump onto that other bit. Ah, that's it, kid. This building, who even needs roads anymore? Drop me off in that alley over there. Kid, listen closely. Take no prisoners on this punk. Whatever you have to do, do it. Just focus off the road and use that twist of yours to get the upper hand. You got this, champ. Finish him. Can we go somewhere private to chat? I know a place. Just follow my directions. Ah! 
This place is super secluded. Just cut through the woods up here. Paper? You looked super strung out, like you've been taking some serious, um... <sighs> you, you could cut the silence with a knife. Giorgio, just pull over here. Look, you... you mean a lot to me, but... I can't stop worrying that the next time I see you, you'll be in a very flat coffin. I, I just can't take that kind of stress every time you drive. Beat Ronaldo, but beat him safely. Don't stoop to his level. Come home to me alive, okay? Americans call it double or nothing. If you're gonna beat this clown, then we're gonna be right there with you. Let's go, kid. Your petit fun club can't help you now. This time, loser has to stop driving forever. Let's, Let's go, go, Giorgio! Giorgio. <laughs> oh, oh. You're even slower than last time! Giorgio, he'll keep you on the roads, remember? Take it off-road. Head to the mountain bridge. But that's under construction! Giorgio, careful! Giorgio Manos, but I will always be the best! <laughs> Giorgio, look out! Ah, Ask Giorgio about the incident these days and you get a fistful of blank stares. Destroying a man's car is tantamount to treason. Yes, even if the guy behind the wheel is, and let's be honest here, a huge jerk. Mickey leaving was tough. Beth, however, hit the hardest. One thing is for sure. With everything collapsing, Giorgio did the one thing Giorgio does best. Drive. A wise man once said that time heals all wounds, but he never specified how long you needed. That's the trouble with wise men. They're never specific enough to be useful. Hello, George! Oh, you're looking worse than me these days, and I'm a skeleton! <sighs> Giorgio, you need to move on. Yes, 
maybe six months ago, you killed a man with your driving. And maybe the only person you ever loved left you forever. And yes, you're probably going to freeze to death in these mountains and become Giorgio the skeleton. <coughs> but you're out of Jeffrey medicine, Giorgio. I can't stand to see my pal Giorgio so down and unable to get more Jeffrey medicine. And, um, think of Beth. I bet your number one lady would love to hang out with your number one skeleton. You two were great together. Yeah, do it for Beth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, that's the spirit, pal. See, just like riding a bicycle, we'll have you back up step one, get a job. Step two, clean suit. Step three, get back Beth. It'll be great. And after that, we'll find Ronaldo and drink mimosas and reminisce about how you killed... Oh. Too soon. Got it. step is always the hardest. Yeah, we'll work on that whole thing later. For now, go find us some farm work. Do hurry, I'd like my bones back Don't get much call for you city folk over here on Pope Farms, that's for sure. Say, your twirl of Mahoo and Tom Thory might actually come in handy around these parts. How about you go take in the crops for me? Oh no, I don't go in for modern machinery. You just go out in my fields and do your techno spinnery. I'll radio you if I need anything, okay? Just run over them there crops. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a ticket. Now just do it till you fill up all week. a good day's work right there. Haven't seen a day like that since 1954. Now, you see, back then, kids knew the value of a good day's work. Nowadays, you're more likely to see them lollygagging at the disco techniques or lounging around at those godforsaken malls. 
Well, you know, I, I don't want to talk your old ear off. You clearly got some place to be. Thanks again. Now, uh, what what'd you say your name was? Giorgio Manos was back. And this time, it was Percy. <laughs> Well, bless you, my child. I thought I'd be lost out here forever. Oh, I moved congregations. I'm a countryman now. My audience is awaiting me. Head to the church. bury all the skeletons.
Fine, fine, okay. I'll go. See you soon, Giorgio! See you even sooner, priest! <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just going to take a long constitutional. Many thanks to you, I think. There, limousine driver. What a pleasure it is to meet you for the first time. I appear to have lost my important business things. Yes, my important business things are everywhere. They're probably even on the rooftops by now. But I doubt a normal limousine driver like you could get them. can jump on top of buildings? I am shocked. What a revelation. Yes, I'm picking up all my business things. Don't look back here. Okay, I've seen enough. I mean, uh, I, I'm done with business. Take me to the junkyard at the edge of town. I have a secret, kid. It's me, your old pal Mickey. I was just testing to make sure it was you. Look, kid, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push you. I've been thinking about it, and you should drive the way you want to drive. There's more to life than revolving. See, I, I saved this from the shop back in the city. Go make a clean start, and well, don't make the same mistakes I did. Hi. Okay. I have a surprise for both of you. The last few months have been the happiest of my life. Will you marry me? Yes. Of course. Yes. Okay. So the next surprise, we're getting married now, on our way to our honeymoon, to the airport, Giorgio. What? Uh, okay. Let's go, Giorgio.
Bob. Who's going to marry us? Well, I will, of course. I am the town preacher, after all. Let us proceed. Do you take this kid to be your husband, even if he is lame, or pathetic, or he is a jerk, for the rest of time? I do. It's the same thing, but reversed for this wonderful lady you're about to marry. I do. upon each other. Oh my, she looks just like you. Wow, we wrapped the whole life milestone thing up nice and smart. Thanks, Giorgio. Let's go to Hawaii to celebrate. Yay! <laughs> Roundabout Air Show is renowned for the amazing ballet of aluminum and half gas. Unfortunately for Giorgio, the air is an inspiration.
That is one fine sandwich. Thank you. Oh, her? I haven't seen her anywhere. Sorry. Anyways, time for me to jet. Hip hip and away to the airplane, Jeeves. Oh, Giorgio. I'm so glad I found you. I've got some serious heat after me. I did a real bad thing, Giorgio. Can you take us somewhere where we can lay low for a while? Don't take the main roads. They'll be looking for me. Is there a back road you can take me on? Giorgio, this is the police. Pull over. We just want to ask some questions. Ah, how did they find me? My disguise was foolproof. Get rid of them, Giorgio. Giorgio! Soon after the accident, the police had formed Giorgio Operations, or GIOP for short. A squad with one mission to put Giorgio Maps on the bus. It's okay. I heard about Ronaldo. I can totally relate. If the police catch me for posting those bills, I I don't even know what will happen. Oh, this place is fantastic, Giorgio. No one will think to look for me at the world famous Roundabout Falls. Waterfalls are not art. Her? Oh, I saw her on the news too. Were you guys a thing? Well, if I see her at the falls, I'll let you know. Thanks again, Giorgio. Hello there, driver. Could you take me to the roundabout train station, eh? Oh, I'm sorry, eh? I didn't mean to cause a kerfuffle. I'm just trying to get to the train station, eh? Oh, I'm still new to this revolving thing. Take it easy, eh? What? No, this is my first time in this limousine. What are you getting at, you hoser? Are all the drivers in your country this rude? Why don't they get out of your way? Such a big city. We don't have anything like this back home. Ah! Wowee, that was some fast driving. And so friendly too. 
Oh, I've seen her. She was the nice young lady at the fair. Well, we had no idea how to get around, so she showed us how to get to all the stalls, and, uh, and she won me this here prize. Uh, so anyway, I uh, mustn't be late for my train now, so uh, goodbye. What is it, kid? You had a barely passable Canadian passenger drop a clue about Beth's location? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go, Giorgio. She could be anywhere in the fairground. Try over near the pirate ship. We need more height. Jump on those carousels. something over by the arena okay manos nowhere to run stop with the spinning and start with the stepping out of the car ah uh, looks like we've got a good old-fashioned destruction derby on our hands now kid listen up three against one ain't great odds i have a plan though just keep them off us as long as you can while i get ready If I put that there... if I punch those cars out myself. I didn't become a mechanic just to fix cars, you know? With these Limerama special gloves, I'll be able to hold the police back while you go and find that. Let me out here. You want a piece of me, cops? Let's go. Hey, Cheese Weasel, it's Disco Sylvan. I said I'd be your wingman, and I meant it. That Beth cat you're looking for? She's over by the cable cars. I mean, Disco Sylvan would never ride a cable car, but... Oh, you want directions? Right this way, Giorgio. Jump across the ice. You might be able to head her off. Manos, this is the chain off. You're on thin ice. <laughs> we won't stand for this cold shoulder.
your shield, you, uh, frozen. station is real close now. Okay, Cheese Weasel. This is as far as I can take you. Disco Sylvan don't do heights. These dancing shoes stay firmly on the ground. Oh, yeah. Go chat with the ranger. I'll be in town with Mrs. Disco Sylvan if you need anything. Go get her, champ. Giorgio couldn't believe the battle was so close. Just one perilous illison stood in the way of writing what had gone wrong. Thank goodness you finally came. I thought the rescue team would never arrive. And you aren't the rescue team. Damn it, Stacy, you're gonna be trapped here. Unless, hey, you wanna do some more work for the parks department? Oh, thank you so much. Well, we had a bit of a structural problem with the cable cars. Well, the cable bit. I hear that's kind of important. We need to get to the top and shut off those cable cars. The thought of Beth being in trouble in an urgency to what would normally be a routine saving people a distress ride. get any credit of course but we saved some lives at least oh you mean her Georgia knew that this was it yeah I need to head to roundabout Gorge Giorgio sorry I didn't call uh, things just got so well, you know, with, with death and, and the police and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Giorgio. I... I panicked and you disappeared and... Well, here we are. So, uh... Yeah. I was... I was gonna go to Roundabout Gorge. Do you want to take me? but I just can't deal with all this twisting and turning around around everything can you just be straight with me can we at least start there Giorgio even just for a few seconds see you're doing it
Giorgio struggled. Driving straight felt wrong. Awkward. Like a really bad $2 glove. Accept your limitations, Monos. do this, then I'm at least riding in the front. Look, Giorgio, I'm sorry. Just, just be you, okay? After all, that's the Giorgio that I fell for. You know, I, I heard that in Tijuana, they have a four-lane roundabout. That sounds like a fun time. Let's go! We've got the police behind us, the border in front of us, and a whole lot of spinning in the way. Let's go, Giorgio! And now I bet you're wondering what happened to everyone after all of that tomfoolery. Well, Jeffrey returned to his home planet. Rinaldo died. I thought we made that pretty clear. There was that explosion and the news. Remember? Mickey survived his altercation with the Demolition Derby, moved to the UK, and became a huge famous mechanic guy. He even started his own band in the late 80s. And Beth and Giorgio, well, that's a tale for a new day. It says here that Tijuana can get up to 120 degrees in September. We should probably get AC installed. Okay, I spy with my little eye something beginning with G. Man, you're no fun. Drive past the big taco? Giorgio, come on. Is a 40 foot taco with a taco restaurant inside? How can we not stop there for a break? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Giorgio. Come on. You think we should change our game to throw the police off our trail? I could be Jonathan, the vivacious astronaut dancing, and 
you could be, um, Georgia, my astronaut dancer chauffeur who is secretly a five-star fondue chef. It's a foolproof plan. I found ya. Oh, you're never gonna be alone again, eh? Okay, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna get married there, huh? And uh, uh, we're gonna play lots of games and we're gonna eat lots of maple syrup and uh, and uh, I don't know where the moose is, but we'll find him too and we'll have a good old little party with our uh, with our moose friend there and uh, then we'll have a, uh, we'll have a, you know, we'll move into a nice house and we'll have some kids and this is getting weird, isn't it? Cause you're not even, first of all, you're a dog and that's weird, but you're also an inanimate object and Biologically, it just can't function that way. So, um, no, it's just awkward then. But, hey, I'm glad you're back. Hey, oh, I love you. I missed you then, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Maple leaf for life.